From Software is a really big and very well-known game studio that's responsible for big franchises like the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, and most recently Elden Ring. These games are known for being difficult and having some of the best boss design in all of gaming. I am not very good at video games, so as you might be able to guess, I've never touched a From Software game or any Souls like for that matter. Not that I'm like afraid of the challenge or anything, I always meant to play one, I just never found the time. That all changed one day when I was streaming Calamity Inferno mode. I know what you're thinking contradicts the don't play hard games, but I didn't say I never play hard games, I just said I'm bad at them. So anyway, there I was playing Calamity Inferno mode, streaming it like I had been for a couple weeks. And my channel had recently become a Twitch affiliate channel, which means I had now access to channel points. And my friend John decided to use his channel points to put up a poll for whether or not I should play of all Souls-like games to start with Sekiro. I think there's only like five people in the chat at the time. And as you might expect, they all wanted to watch me suffer. So uh, sit back, relax, get some popcorn and enjoy the show. Yo guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, fair warning, I have an ultra-wide monitor, and this game does not seem to support ultra-wide. And I'm using a controller, but I don't usually play games with controllers very often, so... And with that, I begin my journey through the very peaceful lands of Ashina. Damn! Yo, oh, ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Rose Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. After struggling to learn how to jump and some of the other movement controls, I finally made the Kuro. Who are you? I talked with Kuro, he gave me a sword to go kill some people. <sighs> oh cool. I was quickly getting used to the combat system, but like, you know, not not too quickly. Oh, I died. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. No hit run. Starting now. Now that I'm warmed up. And I was warmed up. Yeah, get fucked. And after killing that guy, I don't remember his name, I had to continue with my mission. I made it to the door and called for Kuro. Then we made our way through the secret passage to escape Ashina. Oh shit. This looks like a boss area. Yo! I recognize that voice actor. And then he finally showed his face. Genichiro the cheater. Wolf decided to pick a fight with him. I personally wasn't having it, you know. What do you mean, leave this to me? I mean, leave this to me. I'm the one who has to deal with this. I was talking so much smack. Now it's my problem. Hey man. Dude. Oh, okay, I can't I guess I can't uh dodge that one. And so Kenichiro the cheater took my left arm, took the divine air, and left me to die. 
then I woke up in some strange place. This random dude's grippers in my face. Ew, dude. Get those things away from me. Yo, that, that does not look comfy one bit. My arm's back. Oh, never mind. It's not back. Apparently, while I was sleeping, this guy fitted me up with this magic ninja arm. And then using my new powers from the magic ninja arm, I continued my quest to save Kuro. Let's go. And then I finally encountered my first boss. And easily took him down. Just kidding, this guy actually kind of fucked me for a while. I basically like completely lost the ability to block and just started dodging every attack instead. Alright, time to lock in. Oh shit, is this my first time dying twice? Ah shit. <laughs> I probably should have locked onto him so I could see him. Alright. After many, many, many deaths and giving the sculpt to stage 4 lung cancer. And who would have guessed it? A lot more deaths. No! Oh! Oh, let's go. Got his ass. And then in my perilous efforts to make sure I never got anything done quickly, I got this bell. What? Before I go to Harada State, it's time for me to quickly take out this chained ogre. First try, I'm sure. Dude! <laughs> I'm not showing all the deaths this time because you know there wasn't there wasn't even that many this time you know so i don't really feel the need to to show them all like last time so let's go With the ogre gun, I was on my way uh, to Yobu. Just kidding, my ass went straight to Harada State. Yo! And as any normal person would who went to Harada State without first beating Yobu, I was getting tons of XP items and gold, but I was kind of helpless without a certain combat hey ability that lets you oh, shit. deal with spear attacks. Might have just told me how to counter that. Eventually, after lots of struggling, I abandoned uh, clearing Harada State and decided to come back later. Yeah, sure. I have no money. And before I went to go commune with the snake, I had to beat this mini boss. Oh, let's go! Got his ass. It's pretty easy, honestly. Alright, and then I had to make it past the snake, which, I mean, you can you can see, I am incredibly locked in right now. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to go here, but I did. What my gaming instincts told me to do. You're done. You're done. You're done. Run! After a couple of tries trying to make it past the snake and this happening. Yeah, he's bugging out. Doing the death trap, the death roll, dude. Well, how the fuck am I gonna make it through there now? I eventually escaped the snake.
Is he done? I think he gave up. Yeah, he gave up. Okay, cool. And with that, I finally made my way to Gyobu. I am currently... This would be six or seven hours in already. <laughs> I finally made it to the boss fight. That is approximately 40 minutes into the game. But of course, once again, I was more in favor of dodging than blocking. So, yeah. The castle gateway remains closed, he said. Eventually, but only after several deaths, did I realize that you could actually parry most of his attacks. Which will be a common theme throughout all this playthrough, because constantly I'm like, big enemy, probably can't parry that, and am constantly surprised by what you are able to parry. Naturally, then, it only took me a couple more tries to get the hang of the fight. And finally, take this guy down. Oh, I did it! Let's go! Oh, damn. No! Uh, I'm just glad the horse lives. Oh, the horse is gone. <laughs> With my newfound strength, it was time to murder that bastard from the Prada Estate, too. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. My name's Wolf. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Got his ass. Yo, I got my first set of four prayer beads. Yo. Fuck you, man. Stop shooting me, dude. Stop shooting me, guys. It's not cool. Alright, I'm not dealing with this. There's way too many enemies. Get me out of here, dude. No! Ah! Shit! Uh. 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 The stupid the archers! <laughs> oh god. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> After narrowly avoiding death and making it to dad, he gave me a pep talk and told me how to make my way through the rest of Harada State, which I totally ignored. Do I have to jump over this? Oh shit. I died. <laughs> uh, what happens if I resurrect here? Oh shit. Was I not supposed to go this way? Oh, I see. I was supposed to go up and over to the side. I'm not playing Minecraft, you freak. Eventually made my way back up to the top, oh, shit. figured out the right way to go. Even though everything was on fire, you know, stuff was going smoothly. Until I met Big Guy. And uh, he, uh, he slowed things down a bit. Ew, yuck. Yuck, dude. Don't do that. That's nasty. Eventually, I got him to lose interest on me, and then I got a, uh, you know, stealth blow on him. What's up, big man? How's it going? Yo, relax. Took my time whittling his health down little by little. Yo, guys, he's stuck. The tree strategy, dude. Oh, shit. Imagine, right? Watch this. <laughs> Let's go. Yo. And after almost choking, I finally made it through and killed that boss. That guy was pretty easy. And now it was finally time for the main event of the Harada State. I wish John were here. In my house. Oh, 
Oh shit, dude. Am I gonna have to fight a boss? Is that what's happening? Hmm. Hmm. This looks like a boss fight, doesn't it? It's like the area where you'd fight a boss. No way, it's a woman. Is that a woman? I can't even tell. I think so. Oh yeah, it's an old lady. This may come as a big surprise to some of you guys, but I struggled a little bit more with this fight than I did with Gobu. Ow. Oh, she got me. Damn. She, she knows, she knows how to get back up, dude. She knows. <laughs> Look at the way she's fucking looking at me. There was a channel point prediction to see how many attempts it was going to take for me to beat her. And while I did make uh, someone a little nervous on my second try, uh, that didn't last too long. I jumped. Okay. Ah, okay. This boss doesn't actually seem that bad, to be honest. That's straight copium. That attack does so much damage. If I get hit by that, the run is over. I have to dodge that attack. That shit is brutal. Dude, uh, she ran me down. I should have jumped. No shot. After several failed attempts, I finally got her first phase down once. Fuck you, bitch. All right. That's the first time we got her first phase down. Wait. Oh, shit. And then I got murdered by the butterflies. No. No, what the hell? Had a couple more deaths to her second phase in me still, you know, just for good measure. No, every time I go into dash like that, she fucking does her attack and then I die. Because I'm not running at her to jump, I'm trying to get her to do the, the dodge counter. And then finally, I had a moment of clarity. Oh my god! Let's go! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Ah. That was so easy, dude. Wolf just took care of that shit, dude. Damn. Oh, no! <laughs> dude. No. What happened? Someone, someone take a picture of that. That's my face. You see that? Did someone get a picture? Now it was time for me to return to my main goal, rescuing Kuro. <laughs> Soon after I arrived at Pole. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I remember now. I remember. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, wait. I can't change it wrong. Oh, shit. All right. Sorry. I was not mentally prepared for both. <laughs> I... I did not remember until I walked in there and I was like, oh, fuck, bull. Fucking shit, man. Help! Help! Ow. 
shit. Ow, ow, fucking shit. Oh shit. Oh, I did it. Rare bead. Ah. Dopamine. Namaste. <laughs> Oh wait, this isn't where I want to go. Fuck this place, man. I'm exploring this side quest first. Ah, I got fucked, dumbass. I ain't fighting you. You think I'm wasting all my time fighting you? Heavy coin purse. Yo, the whole vibe just changed. Why did the vibe all just change all of a sudden like that? You see, did you see that? That was kind of scary, man. Thanks for watching. If you weren't able to figure out that this is going to be multiple part video series, then uh, I'm sorry for tricking you. Also, I kind of realized halfway through that I don't really like the format of the video where I am commentating over the whole thing. Unless you guys heavily demand for it, the rest of the series probably won't have me commentating over it like that. Either way, thanks for watching, and the uh, next video will be out soon. Hopefully.